Holy Jesus! Oh, me Jesus tab nation. Yeah, back with another uppity one tab nation. And guess what? We're back with the big, the big, big boy. You know what I mean, I wonder what's in this box. Did you get know what I'm saying? Like, we're about to find out, by the way. And by the way, tab nation. Um, if you haven't watched the iPhone 15 um, unboxing and first impression as yet you can click the link in the description check that video out or you can see it in the card right here and then you can hop on over for the big boy the 15 Pro Max that I'm about to um, unbox so um, let's just get let's just get started bro may I have the box in my hand why not start the unboxing right Let me This is it right here, Tab Nation. You remember from the last video when the iPhone 15 surprised me? Well, no surprise no more. We literally have it in our hands for real. The iPhone 15 Pro Max, I got mine in natural titanium. And this is the 256 gigabyte version. Um, so this is it's a big boy. You know what I'm saying? It's a big uppity boy phone right now. This is the type of phone anywhere you go out and people see it in the side of their pocket. They don't just gonna have to look, bro. Especially this new natural titanium color. I can't wait to unbox it so I can see my first uppity impression, bro. Um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I personally, bro, I feel like the people just complain a lot when they come on to Apple. Like, let's face it, bro. What more you guys want Apple to do? Apple is just a trendsetter, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm an Apple fan, boy. But I am not biased, I am not a hypocrite when it comes out to stuff. If I like something, I like something. The previous 15 that we had before, it was a bit lightweight. I like that. I like the design. The design was good. I like the sleekness. Like the, I like the feel, the texture. It wasn't, it wasn't feel like it was slipping out of my hands like the previous um, generation of phones, like the iPhone 14 and previous ones. So it's a dope uppity phone. I'm not gonna lie. Um, however, that phone is just too small for me. So me getting this for myself, bro, it it just feels so much more. I can't feel it by just feeling the box tab nation. Like in my hands, first impression, I can't feel it gonna be like a solid uppity phone. I'm not gonna be disappointed with this phone. Subscribe, get your popcorn and your uppity juice, and let's get started the unboxing. Me Jesus. So now Tab Nation, you guys are about to get that full uppity unboxing experience from Daniel Tech Reviews. So as you can see, I got the natural titanium. Um, dope color bro. I would say if you're gonna buy the iPhone 15 Pro, the Pro series, whether the Pro Max or the regular Pro, I'll definitely go for um, the natural titanium bro. To me, um, this is the best um, color Apple has to offer now a long time now iPhone bro it's just it's a sleek uppity color I'm not gonna lie I like it the box is as I said the box weigh around maybe like a pound and a half almost two pounds so it has some weight to it on the side right here you have that natural titanium iPhone um, logo on it you got you know you got a peel off sticker just to prove to the to the haters that you know your phone is brand new you know what I'm saying so baby girl don't, hey me Jesus brand new operative phone um the unboxing experience before i even get into it tab nation just hear me out real quick so i don't necessarily personally like apple's unboxing experience overall why because it's a good experience don't get me wrong but number one the charger has never been in the box for like the last couple of years and then android feel like they want to jump on blood clot um some um apple's bandwagon right and do the same thing with not giving it a charger in the box. Yes, we get it, the environment uppity and all of that. But bro, we pay literally twelve hundred to almost eighteen hundred for an iPhone, bro. We're literally paying for jewelry. <laughs> Me Jesus, at least give us an accessory. Don't take it away from us, Apple. You know what I mean? But that's I can I guess I can say nowadays that's petty. But that's just one of my pet peeves. You dig? I do not necessarily like like. Do I like the unboxing experience? yes i do it's just uh, the little pet peeves like you could get more and you know you get a better a much better presentation for the money you spent like nobody want to spend their money tab nation right nobody want to spend their money and not get something uppity like yes the box is clean you know you get the, the right and all of that is uppity but you want something a bit more bro this is literally 
twelve hundred dollars I'm holding in my hands. But anyways, without no further ado, Tab Nation, you ready for it? Ready for it? All right, go for the first peel tab. All right, then the second peel tab. Me Jesus. Comment out down, um, I'm Jesus down below by the way, Tab Nation. Let me know if you guys enjoying this unboxing experience so far. And put this bad boy over. Oh, Lee. Me Jesus, Tab Nation. I'm going to put it in the light a little bit. Oh, my. Me Jesus, Tab Nation. Bro, I see why I ordered this color, man. Natural titanium, but... Without no further ado, before we even go any further, let's just put the phone to the side. Let's see if Apple surprises us this year, right? So we're gonna take the natural titanium out. Take our time. Take out. Hey, 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 hey. Take our time. Come here, little G. Come here. Put it right there. Let's put the natural titanium to the side, and then we're gonna see what's in the box. So, um, I guess I wanna say Apple upgraded the box this year <laughs> by giving us a USB Type C um slash usb type c charging cable that's all bro like don't even think i'm lying when i said that's all apple gives you but yeah they give you a usb type c slash usb type c charging cable and this time as i can see if you look a bit closer tab nation it's braided which is not bad you know less bundling less this and that and the third you know le like it's more you have a much better it has a bit more a more denser feel to it so it is better than the, the regular plastic wire one, but that's it. That's what Apple decided to just give you in the box, right? An expensive, um, expensive ass phone with, you know, a braided cable. But hey, it is what it is. Set that to the side. No matter if I put it back. Now let, let's look at the, um, the booklet. So give you a design in Apple. Obviously, if in the United States, we only do eSIMs for Apple phone these days. So if you have an iPhone in America, you only can use eSIM. So this is just an eSIM pamphlet. What else is in the, the booklet? Let's see. You got your, your Apple sticker. Flastic character call it the troll. The troll Apple sticker. So you got like an Apple sticker. I guess I can put it on one of like your MacBooks or your Dell computer. Whichever one you got. iPad, whichever one you got. It's a sticker. You can use it. Yeah. Come on, stop struggling. Me, Jesus, angry level increasing. <laughs> That's a plastic cutter that's saying. But anyways, I truly like plastic cutter, man. You can check him out, Tab Nation. My favorite tech reviewer. I love MKBH, all of them, but me love them. Me love him the most. But yeah, um, so this is the, the device. You know, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max Titanium. Um, let's let's do the peel. Yeah, we did not do the peel off the front as it. Let's do the peel. Let's do the peel. Me Jesus, Jesus, peace as Christus. Oh, Tab Nation, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Let's first talk about the feel. It feels good. like compared to my last iPhone 14 Pro Max, I, I, it feels way lighter. That's all I'm gonna say so far. It feels way much lighter. It feels and it feels premium. It feels good, bro. It feels much better to hold in the hands. I'm not gonna lie. I see a lot of people talk about the sharp edges, like uh, right here around the corner that the, the last previous iPhones had. It kind of felt like a dull knife sticking in the hands. You don't get that no more. And I think that this curved edge right here that um, a lot of people like now, I think that that's what they're saying that make the iPhone 15 Pro Maxes or the Pro Series more susceptible to like dropping and breaking more easier because you don't have that sharp edge anymore around the corner right here to help protect um, basically the, 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 the glass frame or the drop itself overall. So you just gotta be mindful. If you're a person who likes to use your, um, your phone case, you ain't got nothing to worry about, bro. It's an uppity phone. Um, down here, down at the bottom, now we got, I'm gonna put it up to the camera for you guys. It's a USB type C charging cable, um, well, charging port now. And this is supposed to give you 10 gigabits per second of charging speed and transfer speed. So if you're a person who do videos like me, or you transfer a lot of photos, you transfer a lot of videos, this right here, this new updated port, yes, I know, USB-C on an iPhone, right? Not lightning no more, bye-bye lightning. But this right here that you're seeing, yeah, can transfer up to 10 gigabits per second of transfer and charging history. And just to simplify that, for people who don't know too much about like technology, 
um you just can do things a much a bit more faster you charge your phone faster if you want to transfer photos from like a computer to your phone it goes faster way better way way better the iphone 15 has it as well but they just have the regular um type c um port that's it um now let's look at the side of the phone um the side of the iphone 15 pro max titanium as you can see there are three buttons here yes three buttons not the mute switch no more we're gonna get to this um when we're done when we're finalizing so we got the three button over here and here we got the power off and on button and this button can also activate siri as well you dig what i'm saying so it's a nice clicky button very clicky buttons are click let's check the clickiness yeah very quickly quickly <laughs> very quickly and i see a lot of people complain about the new one we're going to talk about i'm gonna give you the name of it soon but um i see a lot of people complain about it but look tab nation i have i don't have necessarily a big hands i have a medium sized hands and for me to reach all the buttons for me is like it, honestly bro i just love big phones bro it works for me personally now let's get to into details of the button so this new one i was talking about you obviously know the volume rocker volume up volume down we got the action button that's the new button now that um i, I said button so many times that's a new button that apple ha um, introduces to the pros only the pro features or the pro phone has this feature it's called the action button it replaces the mute switch you know that remember that switch that you could do on your uh, your previous iphones on off so that's what it replaces it now with where this action button you can basically do anything you want with this button you can open the camera up you can put your phone in silent you can um whatever bro you can create this you can create something in the shortcuts app use whatever app you want to use flashlight you name it this is what this button is for it's called the action button very clicky i like it it's, it's an iphone bro it's dope um um what else i can say it's a dope phone tab nation to be honest this is the on and off button as i said and we're gonna jump straight to the back of the phone it's more of a like before it was like frosted glass back i think it's still frosted glass back but with a bit more satin type of feel it feels very satin you want to feel it man you can just touch it how you feel feel similar to the, the other one right yeah so this one is a bit more satin type of feel tab nation feels good in the hand tab nation this is like me holding my girl for the first time give her one big uppity kiss bro i swear to god it feels just like my woman i'm not going to lie me jesus and for the 15 pro max or the 15 pros we got three cameras so i don't know exactly which camera um what camera is to what but i can tell you one is a 48 megapixel main camera and whenever you're shooting like in regular photos you will it will jump you off at 24 megapixels so that's like literally the normal way to actually shoot pictures on this phone you can bring it back down to 12 megapixel but bro keep it on 24 megapixel you'll thank me later so three different cameras you got the main 48 megapixel you got the ultra wide camera and you got this new optical i think five times zoom which is uppity based on the videos that i watched so far so stay tuned make sure you subscribe when i do my camera testing i'm gonna test both the 15 and the 15 pro max cameras see what which one take the best photos because i've seen some improvements so far and honestly i want to try it out um let me tell you um should you upgrade tab nation that's the question that's one of the big questions um is it worth the buy you ask yourself these questions now if you have an iphone 10 10x max iphone 11 11 r 100 yes 12 yeah 100 yes honestly bro if you let me let me try and age range it if you're maybe like 50 55 you have a 12 pro max you don't need this i'm gonna be honest with you unless you have your money and just want to live your life you honestly don't need this if you have an iphone 14 pro max i swear to god i'm not even gonna lie you don't need this if you have an iphone 14 pro max you have an iphone 13 pro max you can consider based on your budget what you want to do if you want that new action button but you have a 14 pro max definitely don't upgrade in my opinion tab nation it's really the same phone with uppity different um versions of like how can i put it you get minor upgrades 
but it, it's worth the price for someone like me who uses tech a lot who does a lot of videos take a lot of photos i do all of that so for me personally i might go for the latest and greatest every year i might have this for a couple of years i'm not gonna lie i love this phone so far bro i'm literally treating myself back because i sold my 14 pro max foolishly <laughs> this year but um i'm not gonna say it, you know does it work the upgrade or not you're gonna have to make that decision for yourself but if you want my opinion you have anything from 10 to 11 bro upgrade trust me you're gonna feel like you're using a new uppity fucking phone um however um what i was gonna jump on do i rather stainless steel because i did not mention the titanium built so this iphone 15 pro max is basically made out of what apple called grade 5 titanium um you can watch go and watch jerry rig everything video and see what it does when you break when you basically tore down the phone and check out the titanium but i don't really give a fuck about if it's grade 5 grade 8 grade 10 grade 11 high school shit bro i personally like the way it feel they say it's much lighter should be more durable even though the drop test kind of proved that otherwise but it's a nice phone tab nation i am not gonna lie um talk about the display i don't want to talk too much about the display i want to talk about the display more in the review but what i can tell you so far it's a much brighter display get up to 2000 um i think 2000 nits brightness yeah it gets up to 2000 nits brightness so you're good if you're outdoors um it's a 120 hertz pro motion display that's like a fancy word apple use for a 120 hertz screen basically you know what i mean basically whenever you're scrolling the phone is much faster i mean much more fluidity smoother your clicks everything up it but without no further ado going into the closing tab nation on my scale on one to ten for this phone bro i swear to get apple bro i'm always gonna give apple a ten i ain't gonna lie dog me jesus but in a realistic world i'm gonna give this phone honestly like a seven or eight just because we know apple can do better and them just a wall out because they want to release the newer opting thing the next year we get it you know what i'm saying overall tab nation stop complaining stop bitching if you have the money to buy and enjoy yourself bro get your iphone 15 pro max get the latest and greatest if you want to live a life you deserve it you know what i'm saying that's what i'm doing i'm living my life i'm keeping it up to with myself you know what i'm saying be honest with yourself if you need it you get it if you don't it is what it is but tab nation this is the full unboxing and review of the iPhone 15 Pro Max Natural Titanium. I'm 100% know I'm going to enjoy this phone. I'm going to do some reviews. I'm going to start it up from now, by the way. I'm going to set it up as I come off of the video. Um, we're going to do some reviews. I'm going to check out the screen, check out the cameras. And I'm going to link you all up back again in the next video. And let you guys know what I think overall within a week or two of using this phone. Okay? So I just want to appreciate love the support. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. Like, comment, share. It's a family channel, bro. Come on, the whole family can watch it. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, go get your iPhone. Me Jesus. Um, I just want to say, by the way, like everybody who's been supporting me um, ever since on the first video, much love. Bless up on yourself. I respect that a lot. Thank you guys for real. You don't even know how much I mean. And that, that, that means a lot to me. The critique, um, the critiquing that I get, the opinions that I get, I really respect it. I'm going to take all of that in and we're growing together. So every little mistake that I make, something that you would like, don't be scared to comment it down below because I want to learn so I can get better at this. Doing this thing is very new for me, Tab Nation. But hey, you know what I mean? 